Right here you see the puppies participating in their daily chewing exercise. Again, I like to give them pieces that are too big for them to eat and swallow. And uh, just let them practice dismantling them and learning to chew off bite-sized pieces. Again, one of the problems people have when switching their dogs over to raw, especially if they've eaten kibble in the past, is they don't know how to properly chew their food. And so this is conditioning these puppies at a young age to do that. And what I do is I put out three large pieces like this and I just let them go at uh, dismantling them. Yeah, one smart little sweetie who took hers down here. <laughs> I always enjoy watching this. <laughs> Someone got a big mouthful of skin. <laughs> it's a crafty one. Rika moving in to pull some more skin off. She's like me, she likes chicken skin. <laughs> Telling me she's done with her food. Lulu, knock it off. Again, this is teaching puppies to properly chew their food. Of course they drag it through all the leaves in the yard. Today is the first day of fall. I've got this giant oak tree uh, up there that's uh, constantly dropping stuff all year round. You can see the amount of exercise they get from eating. This is stimulation you're not going to get feeding your puppies kibble. That's why so many puppies do destructive chewing and also adult dogs because this is how they're meant to eat and when they don't have this outlet for their oral stimulation they end up taking it out on things around the house. There's Mr. Kratos. Honey badger. Got the other ones battling in the background there. One of the ways you can do this if you have a large dog that uh, is not properly chewing as raw food. You can feed them large pieces like whole leg quarters fully frozen and that will uh, force them to have to chew it up to process it. And after lots of repetition of that, uh, they'll become accustomed to chewing their food. But don't take my word for it, I'm just some guy on YouTube. <laughs> Lulu punctuated that.
Ruka says, hey, these guys are out cooperatively eating this piece. I'll move in on this one. It's like watching a bunch of lions on the Serengeti. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get that leaf out of there. Well, we appear to have two philosophies here. We've got uh, one pup eating a single one here and here. And then we got these guys working as a team dismantling this one. And I think the ones working at a team are uh, getting more food off these than uh, the ones going at it by themselves because they're able to pull against each other. A valuable lesson for them. Again, you can see just how much they get out of this. This is a learning experience for them. It's exercise and it's food. I leave there. So who are the smarter pups? The ones uh, going at it alone with their piece or uh, the team effort here? It's an interesting question. That was driving me nuts, my OCD. <laughs> And you can see none of these pups are trying to uh, take the piece away from the others and dominate them. They're all working uh, together on that. It's interesting. <laughs> the straggler that was over there eating that one decided, hey, I'm going to come in and get on this one. Leg quarters always have kidneys on them. Watch them suck those down now that they got them exposed. Of course, you guys got to take it to all the leaves. 
The whole yard is clear except for that area. <laughs> well, we're going to call this uh, session a quit. Again, this is how I uh, teach the puppies every day to uh, chew their food properly. Little HBICs came to say bye-bye. Uh, that stands for uh, Honey Badger in Charge. <laughs> Again, I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that uh, notification bell down below. You'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our merch store. Bye.